it is actually Manatee Appreciation Day. These mammals are gentle giants, and many call, uh, of course, Florida home. More than 63 hundred, as a matter of fact. Unfortunately, they are threatened and are protected under the Endangered Species Act. But one place you could actually see manatees living is Crystal River, Florida. It is the manatee capital of the world. Let's bring in Miles Saunders with Discover Crystal River, Florida, to talk about these awe-inspiring creatures. Miles, thanks for talking to us this morning. Uh, so why is Crystal River the hotspot for manatees? Well, we have a, a perfect convergence. We have Kings Bay, which is attached by the Crystal River to the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf of Mexico has huge seagrass beds here, the largest in North America. That's where manatees eat all summer. And when it gets cold in winter and the temperature of the Gulf of Mexico drops below 68 degrees Fahrenheit, they move up the river into our springs, which have a constant temperature of 73 Fahrenheit. And they call them thermal refuges. So they gather in large numbers there. So, you know, here in the U.S., what kinds of bodies of water are they found? Can some be fresh, salt, the blend? Where do you find them? Yeah, manatees are often called marine mammals, but that's not really quite true. They're more of an mm -hmm. aquatic mammal because uh, they need fresh water to survive. So they can survive for a time in salt water, but then they'll have to come back into a freshwater ecosystem like ours here in Crystal River. Kings Bay has 70 springs putting out 225 million gallons of fresh water a day. And uh, that's where the manatees come. They need that fresh water. They're an aquatic mammal. So a, a little story for you. Um, you know, my, my friend used to live in Bonita Springs before he passed away, and we would always ride jet, scree, jet skis down there uh, through the mangroves. Yep. And we would come out, and when we would wash off the salt water from the jet skis, the manatees would come around, and they would just basically await you to put the hose in their mouth with fre fresh water. Why is that? Well, because they do need that fresh water. Now, I might point out, Jim, that that's um, now no longer legal. So we don't yes, want we don't, in Florida, we don't, it's illegal to give right. a manatee fresh water or to feed a manatee because they're wild animals. And we don't want them to become dependent on humans. Yeah, well, I, I said we did it. We didn't always do it. We, they were just, they were waiting for fresh water to come out of the hose. Uh, so what's your perfect water? Are. If, yeah. if they know they can get fresh water, they'll be there. <laughs> They're going to take it, just like anything for a free meal or, or free water, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. What's the perfect water temperature uh, for a manatee? Well, you know, 73 is really good, um, and that allows them to survive. If they're in water below 68, and the critical number is probably about 62.5, 17 Celsius, they'll begin to experience cold stress and severe hypothermia. They look like they're fat animals, but they really don't have a lot of fat on them. They're mostly muscle and bone, so they're very sensitive to cold. Do and that's why they're here in Florida. Yeah, I was going to say, do they have any predators, known predators, the manatee? Um, you know, actually, they don't. Uh, alligators and sharks tend to leave them alone. Probably the most serious threats they have are uh, extreme cold weather events. Uh, red tide and things like that, mm. pollution, and then uh, boat strikes. All right, so with, co with coronavirus, how is Discover Crystal River celebrating Manatee Appreciation Day? Well, <laughs> uh, just last night, our city council in Crystal River asked all the uh, manatee tour providers here, we're, we're uh, probably the only place in Florida, really, where you can get in the water and swim with manatees. Our city council has asked all tour companies to cease operations for right now. Mm -hmm.